This is how a 27 year old doctor from Cambridge built a business empire using only his YouTube channel. And I'll show you exactly how he did it today on the blueprint. Ali never started as a business tycoon. He started doing things like web design, math tutoring, and even close-up magic. This is far from the case now. In this video, I'll go through Ali's six revenue streams and show you why YouTube was the key element to all of them and will prove once and for all that YouTube is the most slept on asset for creators and businesses alike. Ali makes money from AdSense, affiliate marketing, his podcast, sponsorships, courses, and his part-time YouTuber Academy. And none of these would have worked if Ali hadn't built his YouTube audience. So let's break each of these revenue streams down. AdSense, this is money that YouTube pays you by running ads on your channel. YouTube gets a cut and you get a cut. Ali made almost 60K from just AdSense alone in 2020 from 300 videos that he's posted along three years. But as most YouTubers will tell you, if you rely on AdSense alone, might not work out the best for you because CPMs can vary and things can happen that drive your CPM all the way down. Sorry, PewDiePie. That's why Ali supplements his business with five other revenue streams. The second revenue stream is affiliate marketing. And this is basically you marketing other people's services or products. And when people buy them, you get a cut of that sale. Through Ali's estimates, he's made almost 250K in 2020 through affiliate marketing. And through looking at his YouTube description and a few of his videos, he's got a fair few. He's got paper like, Epidemic Sounds, Equinox Keyboards, and Amazon as well as a few others. He keeps those in his description and mentions them in his videos. So when people see him using the products or he mentions a service, they wanna check it out. The link is right there in the description. Every time someone clicks and buys it, Ali gets a little back. The third, however, does involve some sort of extra content creation and it's his podcast. The issue with growing podcasts is the platforms don't have discoverability. The podcasts that you listen to are the ones you listen to. And you don't actually go out of your way to listen to extra ones. Not like YouTube where they push new videos in front of you every single day that you might like. So to grow a podcast, you either need to be famous and have an existing audience or build it on YouTube. The fourth one, one of the main revenue streams for both podcasters and YouTubers Sponsorships. This happens when a brand wants to reach your audience through you, so they ask you to promote their product or service to your audience, and you get a hefty amount for it, depending on your audience size and purchasing power. He's also joined the agency standard, which deals with a lot of the sponsorship deals for him. Ali's fifth revenue stream is actually courses on Skillshare. He's got almost 11 courses on so many different types of productivity and studying and even editing videos. And anytime someone watches these courses, he gets a little piece of the pie. And the only way to drive audiences to his Skillshare classes was promoting them on his YouTube channel. Speaking of YouTube, Ali's final and one of his biggest sources of income is his part-time YouTuber Academy. In this course, Ali teaches you everything he knows about YouTube and helps you to make YouTube a part-time revenue stream or even full-time. Because Ali has 2 million subscribers and regularly gets good views on his videos, his expertise is so valuable that every single time he launches a cohort, it sells out within days. And this is where the top of funnel YouTube business model comes into play. Cause you're always getting new people into your YouTube channel through your content and you're building that audience. It's so much easier to create these revenue streams around that audience. But how does it all work together? One word my friends, and it's systems. Instead of constantly trying to find new ways to make money, Ali is focused on his YouTube channel and building his audience and constantly solving those audience's problems. So what Ali has created here is a system that relies on creating videos and building audiences. Something that he already does. But where most YouTubers create videos and rely on AdSense and maybe sponsorships, Ali has created several revenue streams for that same video. But even if you understand this, it's really important that you hear it from the man himself this takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of time to get right. I have been working on making money on the internet since the age of 12. I am now 26. So for the last 14 years, I've been spending a large amount of my free time trying to do various things on the internet to make money online. Yes, it does take time. 
but you can severely shorten the time it takes by learning from other people. And this is what I do on this channel. I deep dive into what makes creators successful, their strategies and mental models to help you grow your audience on YouTube as a business or creator. So I've got an entire playlist right here if you want to deep dive into more creators to maybe shorten your time a little bit more. This has been The Blueprint and I'll see you guys in the next one.